Hello Kyrgyz, welcome back. So as a part of this video tutorial, we will see how to create a responsive footer bar using our Quasar component. Alright then, let's proceed to our browser and view whether uh, which component is provided out of the box for creating a responsive footer on our Quasar website. So now once you are on the Quasar website, on the top left, you should see a docs link. Just click on that link. Now the thing what we are looking for is a footer. Now on the top left corner of the website you could see something called as a search bar. Let's go ahead and type something called as footer. So now over here you could see there are a couple of things but uh, to make it a bit easier you just need to say Q hyphen because we are looking for a quasar component. So now over here you could see something called as quasar provide something called as Q footer API. Now let's go ahead and check that. So now what this uh, component actually does. So now if you see over here it works in conjunction with your Q layout which we are using uh, since we have been creating a layout using our Q layout for responsive design course entire course. So now over here let's go ahead and see how we use it. So now over here uh, I just want to go ahead and take a sample thing. So here let's start with a basic one. So here it's a basic one. Let's view at their source code. So now all they have is this code. So now as you already know most of the in fact all the Quasar components are responsive in nature. So once you add this thing to your uh, uh, to your layout then automatically you have created a responsive footer layout. Or responsive footer to your website so if you see over here before we add our footer to our website I just want to show you how our code guru website looks like so here there is absolutely no footer now let's go ahead and try to create a footer over there now let's copy this code go to our code editor so now I've already opened our layout file so now all you have to do is just go ahead and paste your code whatever the code which you have copied so now over here uh, uh, let's go ahead and see what changes or what this change has given us. So now if you go to our website you could see there is a footer which has been already created. So that looks fantastic. So now we are able to go ahead and see whether it's a responsive or not. Yes it's trying to adjust as per the screen, screen layout. So now what what I want to go ahead and add is I just want to add something like generally if you see most of the websites they have something like copyright. So if you see uh, copyright uh, HTML tag. So you could see this kind of symbol generally in most of the websites. So I just want to go ahead and add that. So how, you, how can you do that? You can just copy this copyright thing tag and let's go to our editor and try to create a copyright for the CodeGuru website. So now over here what I want to do is uh, I just don't want this uh, thing to be on the left side of my uh, footer. I want it to be at the center. So if you have seen already we have something called as Q space. So what this guy does is uh, this guy just tries to put a, a left space bar on or it pushes the components to the right side. If you put your component in between of two Q spaces, then it will automatically push the component to be in uh, center. So here I'll just say testing text. Let's save that. Now let's go to our browser. Now you could see automatically this has been uh, added to the uh, center of my uh, website. So that's where we really need it. So now what are we going to do is uh, we are just going to uh, change it with a, a small text like copyright code guru at 2020. Now let's go back to our uh, editor. Now all you have to say is just paste this guy and just say codeguru.io and 2020. That's it. So now let's go back to our browser and see whether we are able to creating that. Yes, that's perfect. So now with this we have successfully created a completely uh, a responsive design page from right from the header to the footer. Uh, so I hope you have enjoyed this course of uh, creating a responsive UI using a Quasar framework. If yes, 
please support us on Patreon at uh, www.patreon.com slash CodeGuru. So this helps us in supporting many of the open source projects which you learn and like from our content. And also it also helps us in making even more content regularly. And uh, you will also get very early access and a lot of other goodies which we are planning. And finally, please help us to help you guys. And before you move away, please do not forget to like, comment and share this video with your friends. Thank you.